Having manufactured the largest, most diverse lineup of high-performance sport ATVs for more than 20 years, no other company is more dedicated to the market and exhilaration of sport ATVs than Yamaha. Now we've taken all our riding and racing experience and put together the Yamaha Sport ATV Tech Tip Video Series to help you get the most performance and reliability from your ATV. Smoothing bumps, enhancing traction, and much, much more are why most riders would agree that no single aspect of your ATV's performance is as important as its suspension. Maybe that's why Yamaha has become a leader in nearly every sport ATV class, from the race pointed and championship winning YFZ450R to the king of all terrain, the Raptor 700R. Most ATV shocks offer some level of adjustability, with many offering preload adjustment. High-end models like the Yamaha Raptor 700R and the YFZ450R also benefit from shocks with high and low speed compression dampening, in addition to rebound dampening adjustments. If you've never tuned your shocks, all these adjustments can be a little overwhelming. For now, we'll start with the most basic and common adjustment, preload. Setting your preload refers to the amount of pressure placed on your shock spring or springs by either a threaded or notched preload ring. Increasing preload will harden or stiffen the shock's action. As you might assume, reducing preload will have the opposite effect. On most shocks, turning the adjustment ring in the clockwise direction or to the right will increase preload, while turning it in the counterclockwise direction or to the left will decrease preload. On many aftermarket shocks, the preload adjustment primarily affects the ATV's ride height although it will affect ride stiffness somewhat. Different ATV shocks have recommended minimum and maximum adjustment settings that should not be exceeded. You can find these settings in your owner's manual for original equipment shocks or check with your shock manufacturer for aftermarket shock settings. If you're just digging into setting up your shocks, it's easiest to start with the manufacturer's standard settings and tune from there. Or you can always start in the middle of the adjustment range and increase or decrease preload as needed. Make sure you set both front shocks up the same or your machine might handle unpredictably. On threaded preload style shocks, make sure once you finish adjusting the preload with a lower adjustment ring that you tighten the upper lock ring to the manufacturer's recommended torque specifications listed in your owner's manual. Before you ride, make sure your tires aren't under or over inflated, as this can dramatically impact the feel of your ATV's ride. Your shocks should bottom out only on rare occasions. If you feel your shocks are bottoming too often, then increase your preload. Many riders often go too stiff when adjusting their suspension, resulting in a rougher, more fatiguing ride. Increasing or decreasing preload also affects other things like weight transfer. Less preload in the rear shock increases weight transfer to the rear wheels under acceleration, improving traction. Increasing preload on the front shocks helps reduce front end body roll, while decreasing front shock preload increases weight transfer to the outside tire, which improves traction. Tuning your shocks can be fun and almost addictive once you have some of the basic understanding of the process. Take advantage of your shocks tunability and get the most out of your sport ATV's riding experience regardless of the terrain. And don't forget, if you have any questions about tuning your ATV suspension, you can always count on your staff at your friendly local Yamaha dealer.